For those of you turning 16 today, you've waited your entire lives for this moment. This movie is clearly trying to be divergent, right? It's trying to be divergent, Hunger Games. Maze Runner, or maybe not. Am I gonna spoil this movie? Maybe. It will probably be light spoilers, but I don't really want to go into the details because I don't think the details of the plot really matter that much. There's no real big plot twist, at least not in this first movie. It definitely feels like they're gonna have like more movies down the line because it does end on a cliffhanger. The concept is a little bit... It's one of those concepts where you're just like, it can either work or it's gonna be utter trash and it ended up being kind of the latter. It sounded interesting when I first read it. It's called Uglies. A lot of the names in this just, they're not very creative. In the future, okay, this movie sort of explains how the good old energy crisis story, which I have no idea why it really connects to the whole ugly thing, but like there was an energy crisis and there was war fighting over resources. And then they discovered this new energy source that's like flowers, I guess that could work. Well, even though we solved the energy crisis, we thought all the problems in the world were resolved. We thought there wouldn't be war, people wouldn't be fighting, but people still fought because we still had differences. Obviously, we still have differences. So many factors contribute to conflict. So we came up with a new system in which everybody apparently is born ugly. I don't know why everybody is even born ugly. I'm like, you got people that are pretty though. Some people are just born pretty, but I guess we don't have any of those people in the future. In this future dystopian world, everybody is just born ugly. Or I guess they're born like not exactly perfect. <laughs> Once they turn 16, they get to have this procedure where they just become pretty. It sounds like it could be a fun concept to play with, but it also sounds like it can go downhill real quick. This main character, we always have this main character. She's like the new Katniss, is she not? She's not the new Katniss, but she wants to be. She's totally into this whole system. She also has this friend who's like a few months older than her. I mean, they're like BFFs. They're like BFFs, but they kind of have a thing. So I don't, I don't know if they actually have a thing, but they kind of have a thing. Do they have a thing? They kind of have a thing, right? He turns pretty first and then he completely changes as a person. I mean, you'll get it when you're pretty. And then she meets this other girl. And then this other girl kind of shows her a whole new world. But instead of riding on Aladdin's magic carpet, they're on these like skateboards that fly. She tells her about this mythological place called the Smoke. Is it mythological? I don't know. I feel like everybody knows about it. And this leader, David, who's like against the system. So they're like this rebel group, main character girl. I don't even know her name. What's her name? Squint. Okay, Squint is her like her nickname because she has squinty eyes. And all, apparently all these ugly people, they have they have nicknames. And then once they become pretty, they go by their real name. So I'm like, what is her name? What is her name? Squint. Squint. Oh, Tally. Yeah, Tally. Tally's her name. This movie is so bad. Isn't it bad? I don't know if I'm being harsh on this movie or if it was really... The CGI was bad. The naming convention was bad. The lady in charge of this whole operation... What's her name? Doubt. Not Doubt. Cable. She's exactly like the lady in Divergent. The lady in White in Maze Runner. She's exactly that lady. And we find out that the smoke is called the smoke because they got fire. Or at least that's what I think. I assume that's why they're called the smoke. I don't actually know if that's why they're called the smoke. But I'm just like, y'all don't have fire in this new city? I guess they don't need it. They don't need it. They don't even need to brush their teeth. They can just take a pill. This is really high tech. And I'm just like, why do you need to wait until people are 16 to turn them pretty and brainwash them? You guys can have designer babies. Like you can be born pretty. Why do you need to be born ugly and then turn pretty? And then you, you technically just become a robot. Cable is over here just making an army of human robots. I'm like, why do you need humans at that point? Just just turn everyone into bots. I don't know what Cable's trying to do. Maybe she's, maybe her plan is actually very elaborate. Maybe it's actually more complicated and I'm just like too simple minded to realize that this is actually part of a big elaborate scheme that actually is going to make sense and come together in the end. But right now it seems, it just seems really dumb. I can't latch onto any of these characters or any of these stories. I don't know what the purpose of this story is. Is it supposed to teach me a lesson? It's probably supposed to teach a lesson about how our uniqueness makes us special. And this whole operation of turning everyone pretty, like in a, pl in a very plastic kind of way. Honestly, these people who are supposedly ugly, they're not even ugly. They just look normal. They actually look like normal, attractive people. And then the pretty versions of them is just them with makeup. It is without makeup and then with makeup. <laughs> 
I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced that this whole pretty operation actually makes you pretty. They just look plastic. Pretty is such a subjective thing. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So I'm just like, what defines pretty? Like y'all are just calling this pretty, but like, is it really pretty? Does everyone think it's pretty? Is that the beauty standard? But they all look different. If there's a beauty standard for what defines pretty, shouldn't you all look kind of the same? But no, you got a diverse bunch of people that are supposedly pretty. But I'm just like, they don't even look that different from the uglies. They're just better dressed with makeup. That's actually a legitimate complaint, right? I couldn't get into this movie. And the main character was not even, she didn't even really have a purpose. She was just being conditioned by the things around her. She's just a blank character. She's like your name in a fan fiction. Like she doesn't really do anything. She just waits for things to happen to her. I guess the whole purpose of this story maybe is to show her journey of like, oh my god, I was going to conform to society and become pretty, but now I realize the truth and I'm making decisions for myself and I think there's a better path for this world and society. You guys can let me know if you've seen this movie, if you like it. If the book is better, if any of you have read the books, maybe the book is better. I feel like the book is always better, but I'm just like, it's, I'm having a hard time convincing myself that this idea, this core concept could even work out. I feel like it just falls apart so easily. I'm just like, where are this girl's parents? And what happens to the parents? Like, obviously the parents are pretty and they give birth to ugly children and then the children become pretty when they turn 16. But then what do you do? You just never see the parents because the society, there's like segregation in this. The uglies live on like one side and the pretties are in the city or something. Doesn't that mean you never get to see your parents? They lived in dorms and stuff so I guess they were kind of in a boarding school and so they're just away from their families until they become pretty which is twisted. That is twisted. This whole thing is twisted.